What's up everybody, it's your boy else. Welcome back to another DoorDash vlog. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hope you're hitting your goals, make your money, or doing whatever you wanna do that makes you happy. Today, I am going out on a Saturday night just for a couple of hours to see how much I can make. Uh, this morning, well, this lunch shift I did went pretty well, so I don't have to make too much more to hit my personal goal for today. Um, if there's any questions, please comment below. But if you're new here, like this video, subscribe to my channel. There will be more content coming very soon. Um, I will be going to a baseball game next Saturday, so definitely watch out for that vlog. That one's going to be a big one. We have batting practice. I have a chance to get some good autographs. So watch out for that video. It's going to be a banger. But anyways, let's go out and make some money so I can be able to go to those baseball games. I will see y'all soon. Saturday night does not disappoint. I uh, got my first order, six miles for $12. And a couple of miles of that is just getting to the restaurant. It's Chick-fil-A. It's always a madhouse in there. I'm definitely bringing my hot bag in to wherever I go because the wind's absolutely crazy today. As you saw in my last video, me trying to be cutesy with the YouTube shots and the bag blew open. I almost lost all the food. So don't be a dumb dumb like me. Bring your hot bag in. It's going to protect the food a lot better, even though it's a nice day outside and you know you can put it in your back seat or wherever you have your hot bag. But yeah, don't be like me. Bring your hot bag in if it's raining or it's windy. It's definitely not worth losing all that food. So head into Chick fil A right now. So here's what's going on I was waiting in Chick fil A for about five minutes. It didn't seem like they're making any headway with the order I was waiting on. So Dorda sent me something while I was here and I said, okay, let me take it. It's going the same way. I just wanted to backtrack a little bit. But now, I'm gonna go pick up the DoorDash order instead since Chick-fil-A is taking forever for some reason. I don't know why. So I can get this offer. If it's still not ready, I'm just gonna drop the uh, DoorDash offer off first and then come back and get this one. I mean, it's 19 bucks I can easily make. So hopefully the rest of the night doesn't go like this. It's Saturday night, these, these places should be on top of it, but it happens, you can't control the pace of these restaurants. Let's keep it going. Hopefully there's no more check-ins like this, but you never know with these apps, what could happen? Mini rant time. First thing. Don't let these apps try to punk you and driving unsafe or being there at their specific time. I'll, let, I'll show you a screenshot. It says, we'll reassign this order if you do not hurry up. You get 10 minutes. You get a 10 minute grace period before you have to be at the restaurant to pick up the food. You get 10 minutes. If it's like two or three minutes later, they're going to say, oh, we'll just reassign it. I haven't got too many messages like that. You can be stuck in traffic. People make bad driving maneuver moves just because they don't want to miss out on this money that they're making. But it's not worth, if you get reassigned, you get reassigned. It's not worth getting upset or trying to speed to get to the restaurant sooner. You can press the right, as soon as the ride that store hits, just press it. So that way they can't necessarily take the order away from you. But yeah, these apps will try to make you do things that are super unsafe. It takes like three button presses to even decline the order while you're driving or it, it, it's super unsafe. So don't do anything dangerous to try to just get there. It's not worth it. There's more money that could be made somewhere else. So take your time. Second thing, it's crazy how we're still going through these labor shortages and the Panera I was just in, it was only like the front lobby it's not the lobby but like the front part where the doors are and before you get to the doors of the restaurant that was the only part open because they're doing online orders only because it was not enough staffing to keep the rest to keep the dining room open which i thought was insane but we're still being affected by what was going on i have my opinions on it but i'm not going to say it right now on this channel if y'all want to hear my opinion on it i'll be more than happy to do a video on labor shortages and the great resignation but as of now let me keep my comments to myself i'm heading back on to chipotle right sorry chipotle to chick-fil-a right now hopefully it's ready 
we'll cross our fingers and then I'm gonna get these orders dropped off and hopefully move on from this disaster of a quote unquote stacked offer. just dropped that one off it took around 50 minutes for me to complete that but I did get one heading back to the hot spots from Pina Liquors uh, four miles for 750 not terrible um, sometimes alcohol orders go up just depending on what they're buying so you never know um, but anyways heading there now but if you've never done an alcohol order before make sure you text the customer as soon as you pick it up to have their ID ready it makes things a whole lot easier and simpler for you Trust me, it just opens up the line of communication. And the best, that's just the best time, just in case issues may happen, that the customer can text you say, oh, X, Y, and Z, or hey, the address is this and not this, or I will be outside, something. That way they communicate it back to you, but most of the time they don't. People who order this service have done it time and time again, so not really an issue. But just in case, just wanna make sure I give you a tip and a heads up. an update it's been about an hour and a half I'm at 36 bucks so hopefully I should get an order in the next 30 minutes to get you closer to that 40 to 45 dollar range it's not too terrible I'll probably stay out for another hour maybe maybe two we'll see how busy it is sometimes in my area it can die like after 7 30 so it's very weird but I appreciate everybody for watching this far Y'all are the real ones. Trust me, I've not forgot about the contest. I am still working on some details, so I just appreciate all of y'all being patient. But let's keep it going. Let's keep making some money. I may film one more order, and that's it. McDonald's order came through. It was clutch. DoorDash hit 15 cents. Anyways, I digress. But I appreciate everybody for watching. I'm going to conclude filming. I'm probably going to stay out for another 30 minutes to an hour just depending on how the orders are coming in. But I appreciate everybody for watching this far. If you are new here, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Even if you are here and you're subscribed, please like my videos. I want to know if y'all are watching. Let me know if it's entertaining or not. You know, I'm doing my best to provide the great content for you that I can and make a little bit of money off the same time. Hey, I'm just going to at least be honest with y'all. So peace out. Uh, looks like I got a stacked order for four miles for $11. Even though it's a Saturday night and it should be higher. If there's a no tip one, I am taking that one off in a heartbeat. So anyways, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace out. Remember, hit your goals, have fun, and it's okay to dream. I will post my daily total of what I did for the whole day at the end. All right, peace out.